Hi, Caroline. How's it going? Hi, George. I'm great. How are you? Thanks for uh, doing this interview. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this because we're going to be talking about, you're going to be sharing with us um, some ideas of how do we do marketing in a way that feels more human, that feels more connected instead of the way we, well, not we, but a lot of people think of marketing as maybe a little bit pushy or um, it's, it just feels artificial. And so thanks for kind of bringing this topic forward. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. Yeah. So just to, I want to make sure those who are watching know a bit about your background. Uh, so first of all, uh, Caroline, um, I decided to bring her on because she is one of the first members and advisors of a new network that uh, we started called the Authentic Business Community or ABC. Um, and we will talk more about ABC at the end. It's a wonderful, I think it's, I think it's a, I think it's a wonderful idea. It's uh, it's free to join. And it's for those, of, those of you who are also wanting to build a business that's, that feels more authentic to you and that you, that you want to collaborate and care for other uh, business owners and all grow together. So we'll talk more about that at the end, but let me, um, Caroline, I'm going to read to everybody your, your bio and then, and then we'll get into the conversation of how to do marketing in a way that feels more connected. So um, Caroline is a conscious business coach who helps entrepreneurs build and grow successful online businesses using ethical strategies rooted in integrity. Um, and before I go on in the bio, Caroline, do you uh, work with clients um, strictly with online strategies or do, you, do some of your clients want to work with you regarding local marketing stuff? Yeah, I mean, there is a bit of a mix. I would say that my expertise is more in the online world than the in-person world. So right. that's why I usually put that out there more. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. Um, and I agree because I'm the same way as well. But, uh, but yeah, we both, I think both of us help some clients with, with local marketing. And, that, and when it comes to online, of course, nowadays, we could use online to reach local. But anyway, yeah. so let me, let me finish your bio here. As well as um, Caroline's one-on-one -on -one coaching, she's also the founder of the Female Business Academy, where members get the benefit of learning from some of the most authentic female business experts online, women who have themselves built successful businesses using ethical and soulful strategies. So I love that you have that focus on um, serving women and bringing, you know, kind of creating this, this community of women. So that's really, really cool. Um, all right, so anything else you wanna say about your background or? No, that pretty much covers it. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Cool. So let's start getting into this idea of, you know, you talk about instead of, you know, marketing, um, marketing to people, uh, we are working on connecting with our audience. So what does that, what does that mean for you? Yeah. Well, I mean, essentially for me, it's a huge shift between what we're, traditionally taught in kind of mainstream business advice, which is a focus on getting something from our audience, a focus on, on getting the sale. And so for me, this connecting with versus, um, you know, marketing too is about giving back, giving something to our, our people and our audience, which of course, you know, for the kind of businesses you and I work with is, is such a relief. It's such a welcome relief and it, and it feels so, you know, like such a big permission slip to be told that you can, you're allowed to give, you know, it's okay. And so it's this idea of um, cultivating, I think, a relationship with our people rather than having this kind of um, predatory, you know, stance where there's our prospects or our leads, as we're told, and where, you know, our sole goal is to get, is essentially to get the sale. Um, and so what, what happens is most people who come to me come to me having just got so burnt out and so disillusioned with these approaches because it doesn't fit with who they are in their soul. It doesn't fit with their integrity. And so they feel they're struggling in business because they can't get behind these strategies that, you know, teach something that goes against everything they believe in essentially. So that's it, you know, in a nutshell, that's kind of the shift. I help people to make. That's, that's great. I totally, yeah, I think a lot of people watching hopefully can relate. So um, do you have any examples of 
you know, one, one the marketing two versus the connected, uh, connecting with, and, you know, we don't have to mention any names, obviously, but um, any kind of tactical examples or so people can kind of see, oh, okay, that's what she's talking about, this versus that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many couple that spring to mind, you know, first of all, in content creation, a lot of what we get taught online is to create content to convert, you know, to convert people to the sale. And so for me, um, I, you know, my choice and very much inspired by your work, George, is to, to use my content to educate and to inspire rather than to get the sale. So, you know, we see tons of examples of people who, you know, come and watch this amazing, you know, um, educational free training series. And what happens is, I mean, I've signed up so many of them over the years, you realize that they're just, there's quite a lot of fluff. There's quite a lot of building you up to wanting to buy the thing that's on offer at the end, you know, the sales pitch, the not so thinly veiled sales pitch at the end. And so, for me, content, the way we produce content, it can be used to connect with, you know, and to educate and to serve our people, or it can be used to sell. And a lot of people are fearful of, of giving their best information away for free, you know, because they think, well, if I give all my best content away and all my secrets and all my strategies, why would anybody hire me? Um, and I'm always talking to my clients about the fact that, you know, people don't, people don't pay to work one-on-one -on -one with you because of the content as such. They pay for the relationship, for the guidance, for the handholding, for the one-to-one -one support that you will give them, you know, in implementing those strategies and those ideas. And so, you know, this, it's, it's kind of bringing generosity for me into everything that we do. Um, and content is just one example. Another one that I'd love to share, this came from a client I worked with uh, a few years ago, a wonderful client of mine. And we were looking at how can we, you know, get her out there more into the world and raise the profile of her work. And she said to me, I've had an epiphany, you know, I've had this brilliant idea, something that I've stopped myself from doing for years, which is to um, sit down and write to everybody in my network, to everybody I know, and tell them what I'm up to, tell them about my new business, um, and ask for their support. And she said, it feels really edgy, but you know, I, I feel finally ready to do it. And I, I felt a bit bad about bursting her bubble, but I said to her, can I offer an alternative? And I said, what do you think could happen? What could be the impact if you wrote to everybody in your network and asked how they were doing and asked what you could support them with? What do you think could be the impact, you know? on your business and your life if you did it that way and it's constantly kind of helping people to make that subtle shift between trying to attract the client um you know rather than serve the relationship and de and deepen the connection mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah I, lo I love that and to go back to that first example of the content um yeah you know it's funny i used to teach <laughs> back in my past life as a more conventional marketer, I used to teach those kinds of webinar strategies and which maybe a lot of you have, you know, like Caroline, like you said, we've, we've, we've sat in on those trainings or webinars where it's like, it's all designed to be a sales pitch, but they don't tell that to you in the, in the, in the marketing of the web the free webinar, it's supposed to be you know, changing your life or giving you some tips or whatever. Um, yeah. And it's like when, whenever we get those kinds of marketing from, from people, you know, it, the, the problem is that sometimes it works, right? Like sometimes it works to convert people and sometimes it works to like get people to buy. And so like I, I had a, I had a, somebody told me recently, like, George, you know, I, 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 I signed up with someone's program, even though I didn't like their marketing, <laughs> even though it felt kind of off or pushy or whatever, I still, they ended up getting me to buy. So I figured since they got me to buy, then it must work. And so I should just follow what they tell me to do, you know? <laughs> so how, how do you, how do you, if someone told you that, what would you, what would you say? I think, I think for me, the big thing there is the sustainability of, and yeah. the longevity of the relationship. 
you know i myself have also in you know in all the years that i've been in business of course fallen for the usual tricks um but you always feel slightly off something always feels you know there's some trust that has been eroded i think um you know there were some people that over the years i felt reluctant reluctant to unsubscribe from their emails yet yeah, I don't really like them you know <laughs> and so it's one of those things that I think in the long term you may get the sale of course I mean people wouldn't teach these these strategies if they didn't work but will they be lifelong supporters of your business you know one of the things that I love is that I've had people who have continued to buy from me since the beginning of my business, you know, that have been there for years. And also something that I see, maybe you have this, I have people who, for example, maybe I gave a complimentary coaching session to, or, you know, one or two, um, you know, from a generous, non-attached to turning them into a client way. And years later, they've become a client. Or, or recently, I signed a client who, um, when I asked her how she found me, she said, well, a friend of mine, um, and she mentioned the name, is, has been talking about you for years. Now, this is a woman that I've given numerous sessions, free complimentary sessions to over the years, never has become a paying client herself. But little did I know has been, you know, singing my praises to everyone, everyone she meets. And so that's the kind of thing that happens when you, when you don't use these kinds of strategies. And I often, you know, warn my clients, the approach that I teach is a, is a slower approach. It's less of a quick fix, but I think, you know, for, for conscious business owners, that, that ties very much in with their spiritual beliefs, with the way they want to show up in the world. You know, we're living in times where people are craving a slower approach to food, to consumerism, to, you know, time management, all of that stuff. And so for me, I think I, I just being clear with people that this does sometimes take longer, but in the, lo in the long term, the relationship is deeper and it's more fulfilling for you as a business owner than doing something that feels off or icky. If we're out of integrity, we're less likely to show up and do the work. You know, mm -hmm. most people I meet are so resistant of doing the strategies that they think they should do um, that they're actually, their business is suffering. So they're not really benefiting in either way. They're not getting the quick results because they're so resistant to doing it because it feels off somehow to them that, you know, yeah. for me, it doesn't I, make sense. I, I, I like that you brought that in. It's so true. I, there, are, I mean, a lot of people watching this, like you may have learned marketing elsewhere and you just haven't been able to make it work for you or you haven't been able to be consistent at it or whatever may reason. And, and sometimes the reason is because you feel subconsciously or, or even consciously resistant to, I don't want to be doing that to people. Yeah. Even though it worked to get me in, I don't necessarily want to be doing that to be. So yes, connecting as a human. And you say, you know, it, it sometimes is slower, but ironically, sometimes it can be just as fast. Um, and I, I mean, I have had people, and I'm sure it's, you know, people have discovered you and they look at your website they look at your blog, maybe they subscribe to your newsletter, and within a week, they're like, she's it, she's the one that I need to work with, you know, because the content you provide is, you know, so generous and, and thoughtful, and they're like, this is awesome. Well, and I, I just also want to um, validate something you said for, for everybody's sake. I think, you know, so many of us are afraid, oh, if I give away my best ideas and my content, then people will just take that, and that's all they need. No, no, it's especially if you're a service provider, you work with people one-to-one -one or in a group, they, they get the best content. They're like, my gosh, I want to now do this in my life. I want to apply this to my life. And they would love, they would be honored to have the person who wrote this thing or recorded this thing, handhold them through it and, and you know, troubleshoot and customize the advice or to be in a group where we're all, we've all read this or we've all watched this thing and now we're going to do it together. So. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm, I want to ask you about, you just sent out a newsletter. Um, I subscribed to your newsletter recently, I actually, finally. <laughs> um, I haven't even had a chance to, to read it because I looked at it. I'm like, this is amazing. I'm definitely going to read it. But, you know, while I was, um, was getting on this call. So, uh, so it, was, it was about authentic connection strategies, if I remember correctly. 
Yeah. Um, do you want to share any of those strategies here on, on the video? Yeah, I'd love to. I yeah. mean, it's, it's something that I call authentic outreach and I think you call it uh, net caring is your yeah. phrase for the for a similar <laughs> approach. Yeah. And it's essentially ways in which to, I'm always looking for ways to deepen the relationship with my audience. And so a couple of examples, I mean, the biggest probably for me um, and works for anybody, I think, you know, any coaches, healers out there who offer, you know, one-to-one -one sessions um, or services, you know, a huge one for me is offering complimentary sessions, you know, getting actually, you know, when we're talking there before about the quick um, sale and how sometimes this approach can be quicker, that's definitely been my experience when I don't do a ton of work to sell my one-to-one -one coaching programs, I just get on a call with people. Um, I just offer complimentary sessions and, and I give my all. There's no pitch. I don't mention working together. There's nothing about it is designed to um, lead to the sale other than to demonstrate what it would look like to work with me. Um, and I see incredible results from that. People who have just one of those and they sign up, you know, for several thousands of euros and it you know it always shocks me how quick it can happen sometimes so so something that I love to do is give out complimentary sessions that's one way for me to connect with people to support people to be of service and to and to demonstrate my expertise um, in a way that's not icky or, or manipulative um, a couple of others would be you know I love to keep in touch with my past clients so anybody who's ever had one of these sessions with me so the busier I get, the, the, you know, the less good I am at this. But, you know, for people in the early stages of business, being in one-to-one -one connection, because here's the thing, what, what we get told and what we think we should be doing with our business is kind of blasting people, you know, like putting stuff out there on um, Instagram, doing stories every day, doing Facebook Lives, all of, all of which are great, you know, if you feel aligned and, and you're inspired to create the content. But... But what a lot of people lack, and, and most of what I shared in the newsletter today, you know, all of the actions are in line with, is this idea of getting into a one-to-one -one connection with somebody. So, you know, reaching out to, I love to reach out to all clients and say, listen, I've got five sessions I want to gift this month. Um, is there anybody you know who would love, you know, one of these sessions? This is who I'm, this, th these are the kind of people I'm really interested in connecting with. You know, people you know, conscious business owners who are trying to change the world. You know, if, if there's anyone you know, no strings attached, no sales pitch. I just want to gift this. You can gift it on my, on my behalf. Just tell, tell them to email me, say that you sent them. Um, you know, I love to do that because it's such a, it's like a triple win because it's a win for me. I get to, you know, meet somebody new and coach somebody. The person who gifts the session gets to gift something to somebody, you know, that they care about. And then, you know, the person who receives the gift. So, I, you know, things like that, it's, it's all, for me, it's, they're all things designed to give something and be of service at the same time as, you know, having an impact, demonstrating your expertise, you know, helping people with the very thing that your business is designed to help people with. Yeah. 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 Awesome. This is, these are great. And I hope um, those watching, if you're interested, you know, read the rest of the authentic outreach um, strategies that went out to to the newsletter and it's on your blog too i think yeah. so um i'll be sure to link to that in the notes of this video so people can get to that easily and i do recommend signing up for caroline's newsletter because it's an example of a good newsletter what a good newsletter ought to be you know an authentic one um so let's uh kind of complete this this uh interview by i want to make sure people know about how to work with you well it's pretty clear people can do a complimentary uh, session with you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. And you also mentioned sort of a, uh, a benefit for those who are watching this, who are part of my, part of my community. Um, you want to talk about that? Yeah, basically I, I tend to offer, um, set programs, you know, for my for set coaching programs that last a couple of months. And I have a special rate for clients of mine who want to continue beyond that. And so mm -hmm. what I'd love to offer to your people is that what I call continuation coaching rate. So it's a heavily That's discounted great. price, normally reserved for my, you know, my previous clients. But I know anyone who's going to come through you is, you know, going to be qualified in some way, you know, so yeah. um, I would love to offer that. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. So uh, make sure let's let's name your website. Your website is uh, go ahead and, and and say it out loud. CarolineLeon.com. Right. And it's Leon just, is L-E-O-N. 
so c-a-r-o-l-i-n-e-l-e-o-n.com yeah so that's easy to remember and um let's talk a little bit about uh oh and by the way you offer one-to-one services um and you also offer the female business academy which is a group program yeah 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 i tried to do i have the kind of higher end one-to-one services and then a very affordable more subscription based yes okay great academy so people can check that out too yeah. i'll put that i'll put that link um let's talk a bit about uh what abc is authentic business community you're an, a member of it and you're an advisor means that you can actually enroll people into abc um so do you want to give us your uh take on what what is abc <laughs> Well, I mean, I love it. I mean, you've probably seen from my, acti- my flurry of activity around it. But um, for me, it's a, it's a perfect example of what we've been talking about today. It's kind of generosity in business. And, mm-hmm. and it's, for me, it's, it's a group of, you know, conscious people coming together to, to have a greater impact. You know, that, that's the bottom line for me. And the idea of doing it in, in collaboration with each other, because it's funny, for years I've been looking for ways to do that where I see all of these amazing businesses, you know, sort of operating in isolation, trying their hardest to kind of get traction with people. And I've always wondered, wouldn't it be wonderful if we, you know, I mean, that's partly why I created the Female Business Academy, but, you know, what I love about this is it's completely free to join. Um, it doesn't require a great deal of effort um it just you know it just it it operates on this basis of of mutually sharing each other's stuff and um you know and then reaping the reaping the referrals that come from that so i i as a concept i'm very excited by it so you have um your own web page describing abc more i i really like the way that you have written things up there so we'll be sure to put the link to Caroline's ABC description in the notes of this video so people can go check it out. If you want to, you know, like Caroline says, you've, if you feel like you're, our, you're our authentic or, or con- you want to be more of an authentic or conscious business and you want to collaborate with others to kind of grow together, everyone can grow together, then um, check it out. Check it out. So Caroline, thank you so much for, for doing this interview. Any kind of final words of encouragement and wisdom for the authentic business owners out there? Well, first of all, thank you, George, for the opportunity to talk to your audience. It's been wonderful. And um, just, just be generous. You know, that's, I think that's the underlying message is don't fear generosity in your business. Um, it's such a wonderful way to live. And it's such a wonderful way to do business. And I think, you know, since I've, you know, switched, I I was lucky enough to have a mentor very early on that helped me see the light. Um, But, you know, it just makes for a very fulfilling life. Yeah, wonderful. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or comments for Caroline. And uh, the links will be, you know, in the notes of the video. Be sure to check out her website and check out her ABC uh, webpage as well. And um, see you all later. Thanks, Caroline. Thank you.